Main article. Hunt for Grogu. When one chooses to walk the way of the Mandalore, you are both hunter and prey. How can one be a coward if one chooses this way of life? A Mandalorian armorer following the Great Purge, surviving Mandalorians went into hiding, and the Mandalorian people were believed to have perished completely. By circa 9 Abbey, a Mandalorian tribe affiliated with the Children of the Watch was hiding in a covert on Navarro, a world in the outer reaches of the galaxy. One of its members was the bounty hunter Din Djarin, known as, the Mandalorian. After Djarin did business with an imperial remnant, it caused a disturbance within the covert, with one member, Paz Vishla of Clan Vishla, calling Djarin a coward for dealing with the Imperials. Soon after the confrontation as well as a conversation with a Mandalorian known as, the Armorer, Djarin decided to go against the remnant and rescue Grogu, an infantile member of Yoda's species whom he had captured and turned over to the Imperial remnant. However, after he performed a rescue, he was stopped by the Bounty Hunters Guild, who sought good relations with the local Imperials. Then, Mandalorians from the Covert emerged from hiding and fought against the Bounty Hunters Guild, protecting one of their own. Jaren escaped, but, as a result of openly fighting, the tribe was forced to relocate the Covert. Despite the attempts of the tribe to relocate the Covert, a large majority of them had been killed by Gideon's Imperial Remnant. The armorer was among those who survived, and it was speculated that others escaped Navarro. When Jaren returned to Navarro, the armorer established Clan Mudhorn as Din Jaren's clan, consisting of Jaren and Grogu. Jaren was then tasked to reunite Grogu with the Jedi Order. Paz Vishla survived the attack as well. During this time, Lady Cries and two of her followers, Koska Reeves and Axe Woves, were hijacking Imperial shipments on Trask. The goal was to use the shipments to reclaim Mandalore and have Kryz reinstated as the Mandalore. Kryz also enlisted the aid of Jaren in exchange for locating a surviving Jedi, Ahsoka Tano. With Jaren's help, Kryz and her followers were able to take the cruiser and its cargo. Unfortunately, the cruiser's captain refused to reveal the location of the Darksaber and took his own life. After helping Kryz, Din Jaren continued with his quest to return Grogu with the Jedi Order protecting his foundling from several bounty hunters that were hunting the youngling, as well as from Gideon's imperial remnant. Despite Jaren's efforts, Gideon eventually succeeded in capturing Grogu, forcing Jaren to ask out his allies to help him rescue Grogu. Jaren assembled a team consisting of New Republic Marshal Karasan Theodune, Master Assassin Fennec Shand, and Boba Fett. Jaren and Fett also met with Bo Katan Kryze and Koska Reeves on the desert planet of Lafette asking the Night Owls for help in boarding Gideon's light cruiser. After a brief fight between Reeves and Fett, the latter who had felt insulted by the Night Owls' comments on his clone origin, Kryze agreed to help Jaren, since she wished to retrieve the Darksaber from Gideon. With the Night Owls' help, Jaren's team was able to take control of the cruiser. However, Jaren had taken the Darksaber from Gideon, but could not to give it to Kryze freely.